today I am taking a look at the last of the bracelets from this company. This is the third one. So if you want to check out some of the others in the other videos, just in case you want to see what the other offerings from this company are, um, you could do so. So this is probably one of my favorite of, let's say close to eight, nine, ten, somewhere around there, of these things I've taken a look at over the last few years because I always keep trying to find one that's a little better, a little better, a little better. And this is one of my favorites in one sense because of the features that it offers because it can do heart monitor and it can alert you. Um, I think when AFib is a situation that it's alerting you to uh, or arrhythmias. And um, it also can do blood pressure uh, readings which shockingly comparing it to uh, when I go to do hemodialysis and uh, check on the comparison it's actually quite close very very close so fairly accurate so kind of shocking uh, of course you have your uh, fitness and sleep and other things like that that it tracks which is you know more common and uh, you know the clock the date and some of the other alerts when you get uh, you know text messages and phone calls and such like that so the bad thing though is of course you've got to keep it charged more often because it's got so much functionality with the blood pressure and the heart rate uh, monitor uh, that it will kill the battery faster so the good thing is you can get a full charge in about an hour and a half I don't time it exactly um, but it's usually within you know two hours max I've got a full charge and then I'm good and it really depends on how much you use the different functionality but I'm usually good for at least two days about two and a half days is where I usually fall with this so that's you know pretty good uh, there are some features like camera control and things that some people may like I don't care about those type things so but overall the bracelet itself is very nice uh, it's a single bar some of them are like two pop in but it also has the loop not all of them have that so that's going to help stay pretty secure now I never had this thing pop loose at all and non-stop wearing with the exception of charging and that's through uh, sleep and everyday activities and such you know and water has not been a problem so hand washing dish washing shower uh, not an issue so with this one pretty tough on there we get the other side um, and you pull that thing off and it's pretty pretty well on there and that's how you charge it you just plug this into USB uh, available USB port so you have your sensor of course down here now overall, what makes and breaks a lot of times uh, units like this is the app. And the app overall is pretty good. So I'm gonna turn off this light because I want you to be able to see this a little better. All right. So I don't know how well that's going to show up. I'm going to hope that it shows up pretty well, but it may not focus too well. You can see some of the screens. We have your like different steps and distances and calories burned and uh, different options with the heart rate monitoring things. I can't see this very well through the camera so you have to forgive me if I'm not exactly on the right one at the right time. You also have sedentary reminders. Um, I think this thing's having some problems focusing. And I'm trying to run through it because it times out and disappears. Um, you have options on the display on which way you display it, turn it off and on. Uh, again the camera controls. So it's like just a lot of different functionality and features but unfortunately with my vision the way it is now it's a little difficult for me to see this and it doesn't seem like it's focusing very well uh, you can see that green that is uh, of course when it's doing the uh, trying to do the heart related monitoring so H band 2.0 our app here 
you have the number of steps taken and here you can see kind of a chart it gives you some uh, specific information if you click on it and you can see distance calories things like that you can see just some of the more specifics so I'm not going to go through every little thing you have the upload option and sharing type stuff you can do not interested in that myself sleep data right now there is none because last night I had to charge this thing I noticed right as I was getting ready to go to sleep that it um, had uh, had died so can't really show you a whole lot unfortunately with the sleep information at the moment you can see the last time it took uh, your beats per minute of your heart rate and you can actually click on this and get a lot more information uh, again as I said the other blood pressure you can actually uh, check out that information I don't do that very often because I today was a day at dialysis so I don't have a lot of information there then you can actually click and take your beats per minute or your blood pressure manually uh, running I'm not running but you can actually hit the start running button and this thing will kind of map out and show you your uh, your your trip on your run which is kind of cool uh, probably one of my biggest complaints here is you have a battery indicator but there's no percentage I really prefer that personally um, it's a little harder for me to see this but I can sort of make it out but it gives you the number of bars so it's not terrible but I just I wish that they would change that and if I click here I can go in and see the specific information related to me and then if I click on it again I can do camera and albums and that's again camera control related stuff not something I'm specifically interested in but it may be of interest to you and then you can set your goals and some of your different settings and such and you can uh, obviously if you want to use this we run which I don't uh, utilize that myself but this thing syncs up really quickly really fast and it seems to be pretty well synchronized at pretty much all times um, so I mean I'm pretty impressed with the overall usage of it uh, you can like I said go through and get a lot of different information and let's see see so you can the version is the latest one so it'll check for updates which is nice automatic and I don't know what this relates to exactly but it makes you choose like a skin color so a little bit unusual but uh, by any means uh, here you can see the different options that are available outset is kind of like a sedentary reminder you have the heart rate alarm I have a lot of medical issues so that's kind of goes off every so often um, you have this private mode and some other things take photo like I said different things that um, you may or may not work uh, want to enable uh, these right here can help to uh, lessen the amount of battery usage if you turn off some of these so you can extend the life of this considerably by doing so I prefer not to because of my health issues but you probably if you turn off enough you may even get like about a week like you typically will typically would and uh, one of the icons on the bracelet is a fine cell phone as you can see so a lot of cool features and functionality I'm gonna go ahead and turn that one off and that one wear detection is when you turn your wrist upward it actually you know pops on and uh, turn that one off see how much uh, battery life I can save but overall I just kind of wanted to give you kind of a quick overview of the app so you know what to expect uh, I said it's a big big deal it, it is to me and the unit itself I got a light coming on here just to make you aware brightness there so the bracelet itself though is very comfortable to wear and this thing is very very strong so I don't see that wearing out too easily um, I just I really don't have a, a whole lot to complain about here uh, my biggest thing would be 
having a percentage so I can see a little bit better and gauge the battery life. And the second thing is, um, I would really like to have an exclusion list of the different notifications because you can turn on like pretty much all notifications but this phone has a power saving mode and when it's active I constantly get notifications about power saving on the bracelet and that just kills the battery uh, prematurely and it's very annoying because it vibrates and lights up like constantly so it's just one of those things where if you could exclude certain things that would be like really really ideal so Hopefully this is somewhat helpful. Uh, like I said, it's very hard for me to show you the actual bracelet. It times out so quickly and I can't really see it with uh, one eye uh, and focus well enough to see it as, as good as I'd like. The camera's just not cooperating at all. But, um, you, you know, it's very easy to read as a whole and you can see some, like, I don't know how well that's gonna show up right now because it's too, too bright. But uh, you can see it this way and then some of the stuff comes up this way so but anyway uh, I feel like I'm rambling now and I just want to say thank you for watching forgive me for rambling and if you want to find out more you can check the link below and read more about this and uh, read some other reviews from other people as well okay